Welcome to another tutorial on Adobe Lightroom. We're in version 4.1. Today we're going to take a look at a plugin for Lightroom for doing skin softening. In one of our previous videos, we had done some skin softening using the tools in Lightroom. Um, so now we're going to take a look at a different way of doing it. We got an email asking us if there was a quicker way um, of doing some of the skin softening if you have multiple people in an image. So it's a lot easier to do it with a plugin. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to close a couple panels um, in Lightroom to give us a bigger area in which we're going to view. Um, for the sake of the video, I've already exported the image over into Portraiture, which is the plugin we're going to use. Um, but once you download the software, uh, the plugin, uh, you install it in the Lightroom, and how to get there would just be to right-click on your image, hit Edit In, and then you would click on the Portraiture plugin for Lightroom. So to save time, we've already done that. So what we'll do is we'll open up um, Portraiture. And this is what you would you'll get whenever you open up um, Portraiture after Lightroom sends it over. So if we zoom into the image a little bit, you get a preview of a before and after without much of you uh, work you do at all. On the left side you have the original image, the right side is the smooth dot image. And how you would use portraiture, um, especially if you're doing uh, a photo with multiple people in it, uh, just click on the little tool over here, which the the says the pick mask color, hit the minus one. And best thing to do is click on normally somewhere in about the forehead or the you know where there's no hair. I'm getting in your way. And in the right hand view you see um, as you move your cursor around you'll see the areas in which you're going to affect. So you try to pick the area that has the best coverage of the skin and, and leaves the background out uh, so you're not going to be changing the background. And then what you would do is just simply just click on that part of the image. And when it does what you get over here is now is the preview of what the image looks like now. You don't have to do a lot of adjustments um, in portraiture, and you know uh, what I've done. I have found a lot of images, especially with young ladies. Um, the smoothing or medium is the one that I use. You have a couple of default ones you can use. You can go, you know, high, you know, enhance glamour. So if you click on the the enhance glamour, you'll see the image, how much different it is. So when you're doing images, especially portraits. Um, I use the smooth medium, um, which smooths out the skin, takes some of the blemishes, blends them out. And it gives you a much, much cleaner look in your images. Um, and then whenever you're done and you're happy with, the, with the, what you have, we'll just go back here, change this to click here, go back to the original image with the adjustments, and just hit OK. Now, Portraiture actually will send this back into Lightroom for you, so you have the image in Lightroom that you can export. You can send to your um, your clients, you know, add it to your folders. But it's actually very simple, um, especially if you're, like I say, if you're working with a group photo where you have three or four different people in the image, and you don't want to have to go through Lightroom to brush out each individual um, individual. This software plugin uh, works very fast with one click, then you have your final image. So you've smoothed out her skin, you've given her that glow that you know you can you can do in Lightroom, but it will take you a little bit longer to do. So this is another option for you. Um, I use this a lot, especially when we're doing model type photography. If you're working with a group of people, um, you know, weddings, um, you know that type of thing. One click will do the whole picture. Uh, so I hope this helps. If you have any questions on the video or the plugin, um, let us know and we'll try to go in more in depth on how to use it. But it's really that simple. Um, when you go through Lightroom, you have to use the brushes you know, to change the mask, the auto mask, you know, to make sure you don't blend it into the hair or any other part of the body. This plugin works extremely, extremely well. So I would highly recommend it. So if you have any questions uh, about this video or any other videos that we've done, just drop us a comment and we'll make sure we get back to you as quickly as we can.